that approval, man. So today I am here in Burbank with my aunt and my cousin. They came out to visit me. We're about to pull up to Marielle's art show. Mariel is a good friend of mine who has helped me with a lot of stuff. She's basically releasing a book that she's been working on for like three years. So we came out to support. How you guys like LA so far? Yeah? Yeah, it's been for fun. What do you like about it most? The weather. My best friend right here, y'all. I've known her longer than anyone I've known ever. <laughs> Since you're in the womb. Since the womb. Since I was what? Popping out the pussy. <laughs> okay, we're pulling up to times 10. That's the space where the art show is at. Whoa, look who it is! Look who it is! What's up, man? Do it. The woman of the hour! What's up? How are you? This is my aunt. This is my cousin. Hi! Hi! How are you? tell you how many times I put down the paintbrush because the thought of being unable to paint was too much to handle. What I can tell you is that every time I got there, just like clockwork, my mind relaxed and painting always got easier. With no effort getting in the way, I once again found myself painting holistically. I think that's what I keep chasing. The holistic state where everything flows together, where everything makes sense and is for a reason. But as far as I can tell, there's no easy access to that zone. You can't just will yourself there and you can't just get there through effort because after all, what you're trying to achieve is effortlessness. Developing as an oil painter then requires perseverance, sensitivity, intelligence, compassion, flexibility, and the ability to see the whole instead of just the parts. It's a lifelong journey and I don't believe a real artist ever arrives. Take energy 